According to Utah Food Bank, one in 10 Utah children risk missing a meal today and every day. I'm John Franke outside the food bank where the governor kicked off an event taking place this weekend where we all can pitch in to help our neighbors. And uh, we'll make the, uh, the first donation Absolutely. proudly. Governor Spencer Cox dropped off the first bag of donations for Saturday's statewide Feed Utah Food Drive, and he's urging those who can to do the same. When we think about kids, I think that's when it gets real for all of us as moms and dads. Uh, the idea of sending a, a child to, to bed hungry uh, just, just pains our soul. Utah Food Bank has warehouses throughout the state. Right now, some of the shelves in the Salt Lake facility are empty. Jeanette Bott, president of the food bank, hopes this weekend causes that to change. During the holiday season, our shelves fill up quickly. People love to give during the holidays, but here we are in March and you can see our shelves are empty. So as we go through this process on Saturday, we're hoping to fill the shelves of pantries across the state. But she knows food and housing costs are squeezing families every day, and many don't have the means to donate. In previous years, more than 1.5 million pounds of food have been collected during this push. She doesn't anticipate that high of a number this year. What we do hope are the families and the folks who have the ability to share will make that extra effort and help us with that. And perhaps instead of one bag, maybe it's two. And those one or two bags Saturday or any day of the year can make a big difference. But our focus really needs to be on our children. We need to be sure we're taking care of that future generation. So if you'd like to help, all you have to do is just leave a bag of non-perishable food outside your front door by 9 a.m. Saturday morning, and someone in your neighborhood will come by and pick it up and get it here to the food bank. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.